practice more than sheer determination to get to the top. It takes a mind of a champion. A perfect quote for today's occasion. A very good and warm morning to all of you present over here. I, Rosalyn, on behalf of NTBC family, welcomes you all to this esteemed platform where brilliance collides with knowledge. Today, on the national finale of NET NTBC Electron Quiz 2023, questions will unless quests, answers will spark applause, and minds will engage in an unparalleled intellectual duel. Today, on this occasion, it is my great pleasure to welcome our honorable chief guests, Sri Dilip Kumar Patel Sir, Director HR NTPC, and Sri Seetal Kumar Sir, Executive Director HR NTPC, and CEO UPL, Utility Power Tech Limited. I would also like to welcome Ms. Rachna Bhal Ma'am, General Manager, Power Management Institute. I also welcome our quiz master of the day, Mr. Gautam. Bose. Now, without a further ado, let's welcome the brilliant minds from various engineering and management institutes, B schools across the country, who have outshone their competitors to reach the finals of NTPC Electron Quiz 2023. Let's give them a round of applause for their outstanding achievement. Before we commence our event, I request our honorable chief guests, Sri Dilip Kumar Patel Sir, Director HR, Sri Seetal Kumar Sir, EDHR, and Ms. Rachna Bhal Ma'am, and Mr. Gautam Bose to please come on the stage. I request Ms. Rachna Bhal Ma'am to present a planter to our Honorable Chief Guest Sri Dilip Kumar Patel Sir as a welcome gesture. I request Ma'am to present a planter to our Honorable Chief Guest Sri Thetal Kumar Sir as a welcome gesture. And I request ma'am to also present a planter to our quiz master as a gesture of welcome. Thank you ma'am. Light is a symbol of brightness and prosperity as light expels the darkness. NTPC as the biggest power sector power producer in the country has also become a synonym for this light. So to make this morning a blessed one, let's invoke Goddess Saraswati by kindling the lamp of knowledge and wisdom. For seeking the choicest blessing for the sim, I request Sri Dilip Kumar Patel sir, Sri Sital Kumar sir and all our dignitaries to do the honors. and ma'am for making this auspicious beginning so far proceedings today. I request all the guests to please take the seat. Now, 
Now let's soak in the spirit of NTPC. As we play the NTPC Geet, I request all of you to please stand at your place for NTPC Geet. ज्योति किरण बन कर हम छाए शक्ति निगम बन कर हम आए शक्ति निगम बन कर हम आए अंधकार की गोर निशा में Now, moving forward, I'd like to share something with you all. It gives me immense pleasure and a sense of pride when I say I am a part of India's leading central PSU NTPC, which not only enumerates the lives of people but plays a lead role in nation building as well. My words want to justice, so to know how, let's watch a captivating video that showcases the remarkable journey of NTPC. ये कहानी है दूरदर्शिता और प्रतिबद्धता की भारतीय अर्थव्यवस्था तेजी से प्रगति कर रही है जिसमें ऊर्जा के महत्व को कम करके नहीं आका जा सकता एन दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी बिजली उत्पादक कंपनियों में से एक है 1975 में अस्तित्व में आए एन की पहली 200 मेगावाट इकाई की स्थापना उन्नीस में की गई थी ये संयंत्र अभी भी 100 प्रतिशत से अधिक प्लांट लोड फैक्टर दर्ज करता है जो एन द्वारा अपनाई गई मजबूत संचालन और प्रबंधन क्षमताओं को दर्शाता है अपनी स्थापना के बाद से एन ने कई उपलब्धियां हासिल की हैं और ऊर्जा क्षेत्र में अपनी उपस्थिति में विविधता लाकर अपनी उपयोगिता को साबित किया है आज एन की स्थापित क्षमता लगभग चौहत्तर मेगावाट है जो सालाना लगभग 400 बिलियन यूनिट का उत्पादन करती है एन का इरादा 2032 तक 130 गीगावाट की कंपनी बनने का है कंपनी की कुल नेटवर्थ 17 बिलियन डॉलर है जिसमें भारत सरकार की हिस्सेदारी लगभग इक्यावन प्रतिशत है विद्युत क्षेत्र में आ रहे बदलाव के साथ एन तेजी से विविधीकरण कर रहा है साथ ही कार्बन कैप्चर और ऊर्जा भंडारण जैसे क्षेत्रों में प्रवेश करके बेहद आवश्यक ऊर्जा परिवर्तन का नेतृत्व कर रहा है एन अपने जल निकायों और जलाशयों का उपयोग करके अपने थर्मल पावर प्लांटों के कार्बन फुटप्रिंट को कम कर रहा है इसके मद्देनजर हाल ही में रामागुंडम में भारत की सबसे बड़ी सौ मेगा की फ्लोटिंग सौर ऊर्जा परियोजना भी शुरू की है एन ने दो तक आर ई क्षमता को 3.3 गीगावाट से बढ़ाकर 60 गीगावाट करने के लक्ष्य के साथ दो आर ई केंद्रित कंपनियों एन टी और एन को शामिल किया है पर्यावरण के प्रति अपनी प्रतिबद्धता के अनुरूप एन ने आई सदस्य देशों में सोलर पार और सोलराइजेशन समाधान लागू करने के लिए अंतर्राष्ट्रीय सौर गठबंधन के साथ समझौता किया है आई के पी सलाहकार के रूप में एन वर्तमान में अफ्रीका में 2770 मेगावाट और लैटिन अमेरिका में 3750 मेगावाट यानी लगभग 
6,500 मेगावाट सौर क्षमता के लिए कई देशों को सलाह दे रहा है दुनिया की अग्रणी बिजली कंपनी बनने के लक्ष्य के साथ एन पूरे एशिया और अफ्रीका में 2,115 मेगावाट क्षमता विकसित कर रहा है बांग्लादेश में एन के संयुक्त उद्यम की पहली 660 मेगावाट इकाई दिसंबर 2022 में चालू की गई थी और 660 मेगावाट की दूसरी इकाई का फुल लोड 24 अक्टूबर 2023 में हासिल कर लिया गया है एन ने केन्या में भी अपना कार्यालय पंजीकृत कराया है अन्य देशों जहां एन की उपस्थिति है उनमें टोगो और दुबई भी शामिल हैं। एन अपनी सहायक कंपनी एन के माध्यम से भूटान बांग्लादेश और नेपाल के साथ सीमा पार ऊर्जा व्यापार में भी शामिल है एन अपने समर्पित परामर्श विंग के माध्यम से ओनर्स इंजीनियर्स और आर एंड एम तथा ओ एन एम सेवाओं सहित सलाहकार सेवाओं के साथ कई बहुपक्षीय असाइनमेंट पर अपनी सेवाएं प्रदान करता है एन अपने प्रमुख संस्थानों पावर मैनेजमेंट इंस्टीट्यूट और एन स्कूल ऑफ बिजनेस के माध्यम से क्षमता विकास कार्यक्रम प्रदान करता है संस्थान का विश्व के अग्रणी एल संस्थानों के साथ रणनीतिक गठजोड़ है और इसके वैश्विक ग्राहकों की एक लंबी सूची है हमारा अनुसंधान एवं विकास केंद्र नेत्रा एन की नवाचार यात्रा का नेतृत्व करता है और इसने कई प्रौद्योगिकियों का विकास किया है साथ ही पिछले कुछ वर्षों में पायलट परियोजना के माध्यम से इसका प्रदर्शन किया है आने वाले समय में एन उत्तर प्रदेश के सिंगरौली में 800 मेगावाट की दो यूनिट्स और मेजा में 800 मेगावाट क्षमता के तीन यूनिट्स लगाने जा रही है इसके साथ ही छत्तीसगढ़ के सी पथ में 800 मेगावाट क्षमता की ए और ओडिशा में 800 मेगावाट क्षमता वाले प्लांट्स स्थापित करने के लिए अपनी कमर कस चुका है आज एन समूचे विश्व में ऊर्जा क्षेत्र में अग्रणी भूमिका निभा रही है एन द्वारा देश के बिजली क्षेत्र में उत्कृष्ट उपलब्धि और योगदान को हाल के वर्षों में कई प्रशंसाओं के माध्यम से स्वीकार किया गया है अपनी कर सकते हैं कि संस्कृति के साथ एन को एक वैश्विक कंपनी के रूप में बदलने की दिशा में हमारे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री के दृष्टिकोण के साथ आगे बढ़ रहा है एन एक बेहतर भविष्य के लिए जीवन को प्रगतिशील बनाने की दिशा की ओर निरंतर कार्य कर रही है inspiring isn't it before we commence our event i like to introduce you all to the person who is a mentor and a guiding force for all of us to deliver the best in class to make all our dreams in a reality and to make ntpc the best employer year after year i would like to request our honorable director shri dilip kumar patel sir to please come on the dais and say a few words to inspire and address our teams and give him give his good wishes for the finale thank you rosalin मैं कलिक रेस्पेक्टेड श्री शीतल साहब एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर एच आर मैडम रचना और मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट गेस्ट श्री मिस्टर गौतम घोष एंड आवर डिस्टिंग्विस्ट यंग स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम द बेस्ट इंस्टीट्यूशंस ऑफ इंडिया माय कलिग्स एंड यंग इट इज फ्रॉम एन टी पी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हार्टिएस्ट वेलकम टू एन टी पी सी एंड हार्टिएस्ट कंग्रेचुलेसन टू रीच टू दिस लेवल द फाइनल टूडे यू विल बी पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द फाइनेंस माई अगेन माई सिंसियर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू सी क्विज इज एन ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्टिविटी वर द इंटेलिजेंस क्यूरिसिटी एंड एवरीथिंग कन्वर्ट दिस इज वन ऑफ द आई थिंक वन ऑफ द बेस्ट मोड ऑफ लर्निंग एंड इट रियली गिव्स पे प्लेजर टू अस टू एन टी पी सी टू बी कंडक्टिंग दिस प्रोग्राम Actually, this makes us uh, uh, younger. NTPC younger. Actually, to remain uh, always young, you should be among the youngsters, youngsters of the country. So this is one of the main purpose that NTPC started this program way back in 2004, so that we will always be in touch with the youngsters from the best institution of the uh, country. 
And you might have seen about the NTPC, uh, the uh, progress, the NTPC's background, and everything the, through the short video. I need not elaborate on that. But uh, see, yeah, NTPC is the leading power generator in India. Everybody knows about, about this. But being the leading power generator in India, and that's true in Maharatna PSU, Maharatra, being a Maharatna PSU, we have got other uh, obligations also. Our core business was thermal. Now, gradually, we are switching towards the renewables and other forms of energy generation. But it is our duty, uh, duty that we should also lead the energy transition of the country. Isn't it? Or the, during any transitions, uh, you may not expect profit in the short run or something like that. Many a times uh, we experiment, sometimes the experiment uh, we, we build successful, sometimes may not be successful. But being the largest generator, uh, we are uh, going towards that. We are leading the energy transitions of the country also. Although there we might have come across there are so many renewables and uh, energy players in the country, but definitely Again, we'll be, we are going to be the leader so far the renewable energy is concerned. As you might have seen, by 2032, we'll be have 60,000 megawatt of renewable energy in our portfolio. And we are progressing aggressively onto that. Not only that, we are going into um, that hydrogen, green chemicals, uh, methanol production, and uh, all other fields. Even battery storage also, pump storage also, all, in almost all the sectors we are entering and we will be definitely going to be a leader not only in India and in the world also will have a special uh, place to, to that. Uh, this is so far, uh, uh, this is our uh, uh, progress on our uh, 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 energy generation is concerned. But if you see, for any organizations, because uh, most of you are from the institutions only, and I think uh, even those who are in IM, they may, might have limited experience of working in any organizations. But if you see, for any type of organizations, the human resource is the most important resource. You might have come across that. We might have, uh, you might be reading that in the institutions, in the colleges. But those who are having some uh, limited experience also in the plant will be seeing that it is a, no doubt, it is the most important resource in any any organization. Whether it is a very, very highly technological and intensive uh, industry or simple uh, process industry where there is uh, less technology is involved, whatever it may be. The type and nature of manpower requirement may vary, but, him, uh, but no doubt in any organization it is the most important. And um, uh, if you see there are ma mainly two, three factors which determines the uh, uh, effectiveness of manpower. One is the competency, no doubt it should be there. And uh, the second thing is the commitment, the uh, motivation level of the employees, their commitment level. Those things uh, are quite very, very uh, important. Yeah, that's, uh, that's why we keep on uh, 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 changing our human resource philosophy. One thing that the separate NTPC, uh, and which is responsible for our progress so far, is the, uh, our people practices, people philosophy since the beginning. Even when we joined NTPC in way back in 1986, at that time also NTPC was giving adequate focus on all these people practices in human resource uh, uh, practices, policies, and everything. But we are not static, we are a dynamic organization. We, uh, uh, we don't have that mindset that what has worked yesterday will work tomorrow also. We keep on tweaking our policies, tweaking our uh, um, philosophy also, manpower philosophy also. And second thing, learn, uh, we give adequate focus on learning and development. Training is very, very important. We believe in continuous learning, lifelong learning, lifelong learning. And you might have uh, seen that because of this only, uh, uh, we, we have been uh, winning so many awards everywhere. But we, uh, awards is not our primary aim, that is a byproduct only. But last year, if we have come across, we have received that um, ATD Best Award. We are, uh, 13, we are ranked 13 internationally, where thousands of organizations are the best organizations in the world participates. Normally, it is a, uh, ATD is a association of talent development. Uh, earlier, it was called American Society of Training and Development. And last year in May, it was held in San Diego, U.S. NTPC was the top ranker uh, 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 company in the world. Coming 13th in the international level is quite, uh, it is a re really a remarkable achievement. We, are, we have been listed, uh, you might have come across that Forbes, Forbes every year they publish the list of different uh, categories, best employer and so. Today morning uh, you might have come across that uh, among the top uh, most powerful uh, women in the world. Uh, one of our ex uh, CMD of a cell, the CH ranked 70th. It was really a day. Today morning only they published that 
most powerful women in the list in the world. Similarly, they, they published in October, they published, published the best employer list. And we are the only PSU in India who figured at 261 rank. And fourth overall, uh, fourth uh, upper country. So uh, they don't uh, take any questionnaire or anything. They uh, do their independent uh, search through an agency called Statista. Statista, I might have, uh, come, uh, might have heard about that organization. That is considered one of the uh, best so far data analytics and other things are gotten, particularly in the chat domain. And uh, our organization was ranked. We have received that uh, Brandon Hall Award, that award ceremony in February in Florida, in US. And we have uh, received the uh, uh, award in two categories. One is leadership development and second is again learning and development. That is considered as the Oscar. I'm talking about the international award. I'm not talking about the uh, uh, so, uh, national award. National awards we have been featuring in the best employer list uh, since a long time. So these are some of the, uh, what I wanted to emphasize is that we believe in that uh, people philosophy. And as I told, we have uh, got a responsibility toward energy transition, leading the energy transition, and we have, to, uh, we have a responsibility toward the society also, nurturing the young talent of the country. That's why we are having so many initiatives, we are taking so many initiatives, and this initiative we have taken way back in 2004. Due to COVID, uh, we are uh, performing after three, uh, three, four years, but we will be continuing this in the uh, time to come. This is an ideal platform for us to remain connected with the young, uh, youngsters. It provides us an opportunity to connect with uh, all of you. And see, uh, always, uh, whenever you interact with the uh, youngsters, this is not only uh, announcing our brand image, it is not only that, that is only a part of it, but we want to nurture the, this type of uh, 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 competitions among the institutions so that you will also get uh, all the all youngsters will also get an opportunity. Again, I am telling this is a, one of the best learning method quiz where intelligence, creativity, everything uh, converts, everything uh, is required in this type of uh, activity. So I am sure uh, you have enjoyed this and uh, people have taken care, uh, good care of you. Uh, I am sure my Rachana Madam and uh, Prasant Samal and their, their team uh, must have taken good care of you. Again, I compliment all of you. And, uh, I wish you to have a uh, top competition today. Definitely the competition is going to be top. But you should enjoy with, with passion, fun. You should. You see, in any journey, if you go, any, whenever you visit somewhere, the journey is always more pleasurable than the destination. So you might have felt it. So always the journey, you have come to this uh, level, that itself is a great achievement for uh, all of you and even those who have participated. And this year, six, 619 teams participated, isn't it? 619 teams participated. Now, that was a great, and you have reached to this level. I, uh, yesterday, I, I think 17 teams participated, and uh, Gautam Sa was telling that yesterday was a really, really top competition, and uh, finally, six uh, teams have uh, emerged. And this is not the only activity NTPC do. Actually, we do a, a such type of activity even for our employees, their family members, and even children of our NTPC employees also. We are having Medha Pratyogita for the employees, family members, children. We conduct AIMA, business game. And every year, since the last two years, the top two teams are from NTPC, in a level. And they participate in the international level. Last year, internationally, we were number one. So for AIMA, you might have come across All India Management Association, AIMA. Last year, our team participated in a global management challenge. Again, that is conducted globally. That last year, it was conducted in Spain. And for the first time, any team from NTPC ranked third, uh, got third position. We conduct a NOSAT for our employees. So NTPC always believes in learning and development. And we keep on uh, introducing such uh, uh, practices, such initiatives. We keep on uh, doing it. So many initiatives we are uh, uh, taking. So my best wishes to all of you. And again, my heartiest congratulations for having reached to this level. Thank you. Please be on the stage for a moment. Thank you, sir, for your enlightening words. I request you to please be on the stage for a few more minutes. And I request all our dignitaries, our quiz master, and the finalists to join us for a group photograph. And let's capture this moment for this time. For a group photograph, only for us, or with all the participants? Sir, with the finalists. Finalists. They are coming here. Yes, sir. All the finalists, please come on the stage.
Thank you all and I request all to please take the seats. Before we proceed further, let me give you a glance of this competition. NTPC started Electron Quiz as a yearly event with an objective to create an awareness and brand equity of NTPC amongst the professional students from premier institutes. Like every other year, this year also we have conducted this Electron Quiz in six regions across India. That is in Lucknow, Patna, Mumbai, Kolkata, Hyderabad and Noida. And the teams who have qualified for the regionals level and the semi-finals of the quiz are here today for the final battle of this re-weeting competition. Congratulations and all the very best to all the finalists. But before starting this nail-biting national grand finale of Electron Quiz 2023, I would like to introduce our quiz master for the day, who is a true master of this art, Mr. Gotham Bose. In addition to being a well-known quiz master throughout the world, Gotham is renowned for his sharp wit, intensive material, and a distinctive approach to the audience interaction. Being a foundation of knowledge, I am hoping today will be both educational and enjoyable. Let's start our today's Electron Quiz and please give a big, big round of applause to welcome our quiz master, Mr. Gotham Bose. Enjoy quizzing. Uh, to all our uh, dignitaries, thank you very much for your valuable time, sirs and ma'am. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, to all the wonderful uh, audience who have joined us, uh, well, uh, close to eight, 900 teams quizzed, uh, hundreds of kilometers of travel. Uh, I don't know how many questions, but lots and lots of them. And today is the fruition of all the hard work that we've pu uh, been putting through for the last one month already. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the big one. Welcome to the national finals of NTPC Electron Quiz 2023. Can we have a round of applause for that? <laughs> Top six teams uh, qualifying. You already know who the teams are, uh, but it uh, elates me to see that uh, teams who participated earlier yesterday at the semifinals and who haven't qualified, they have also joined us to witness this quiz and, uh, well, kind of cheer on the six teams who are going to make a show here. So that's in good spirit. And to our lovely audience from NTPC uh, School of Business and elsewhere who have come and joined us, a warm welcome to you. And a special welcome to our large audience who are watching us digitally. So uh, hi there. Um, I'm going to promise you a great, great uh, time today. We are um, going to have a great quiz because top six teams who have uh, qualified through a labyrinth of round, they are going to uh, vie for a place uh, at the podium. So uh, what we are going to do now is uh, make a quick uh, introduction to the teams and call them once, uh, one by one. But as I call upon your name, please don't just uh, be seated on the DS uh, right away. You need to go to the backstage. Uh, you'll be uh, uh, given certain instructions. After that, you can join us. So ladies and gentlemen, the first team to make a show on uh, stage is a team from Hyderabad, let's welcome uh, them with a round of applause, Team Osmania University. <laughs> Two Sanyas, they've had an incredible run till now. They qualified, uh, almost decimated the competition yesterday, so warm welcome. You know, all of you would know that Sanyas from Hyderabad, they generally do well. 
be it in badminton or tennis or quizzing. So a warm welcome. Uh, joining them uh, will be another uh, team whom I know is a pretty good team. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, put your hands together for team FMS Delhi. <laughs> joining us as team number two. All your bags and belongings should be left. Uh, yeah, thank you. Nothing should be on you. Any mobile phones, smart watches, uh, any Bluetooth devices, none of it should be with you. Make a quick dash onto the stage team, FMS Delhi. Joining them as team number three, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Central India, it's time to welcome team IIM Indore. Give them a round of applause. Welcome, gentlemen. And I'm going to hazard a guess, probably they are the youngest team out here. One of them is an undergraduate student, so a warm welcome. Now over to the left of the stage, uh, wherein I'm going to invite team number four from IIM Ahmedabad. Welcome. They are one of the podium finishers of the Bombay Regional Rounds. A warm welcome to you, gentlemen. As team number five, uh, I think this is the first time that they are uh, making their way to a uh, national uh, finals. But uh, they've also had an incredible run, and please do watch out for this team. It's one of my favorites. Let's welcome team I am Bodhgaya. <laughs> welcome, gentlemen. As I said, 800, close to 800 uh, odd teams participating in this year's uh, NTPC Electron Quiz. And five best teams are already on stage. You know the, who the sixth team is. But again, they are one of my favorite teams all the way from Kolkata. It's time to welcome the final team from I Am Kolkata. Give them a round of applause. All champion quiz teams. And to all the audience, an earnest request. Uh, I keep this uh, referring it in all my quizzes. I can assure you there is absolutely no GST applicable on clapping for a right answer whenever you hear that from the team. So do clap for all the 12 members who have earned their place on the stage. Great show. Do well in today's quiz. Right, what we'll do is we'll start with a quick round of introduction. We don't need any elaborate introduction. Just give us your name, the name of the college we already know. Just give us your name so that the audience also knows. Thank you, sir, for being here. Thank you. Can we have a round of applause for sir? Thank you, sir. All right, let's have a quick round of introduction on the microphone. Just give us your names. Um, I'm Sanya Siddiqui, and this is my friend Sanya Merin, and we are from Osmania University, Hyderabad. Welcome, uh, both Sanyas, and I'm going to make a quick request to you. Uh, thankfully, we are behind uh, the pandemic now, so if you don't mind, and there is some gap between teams, so uh, it looks better on camera if you can just, uh, yeah, uh, take off your masks. That looks a little better. Thank you. And it's easier for me also to uh, hear what you have to say. Over to team uh, FMS Delhi, please do introduce yourselves. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Shashank, and this is Sushant. We are from FMS Delhi. Welcome. And uh, beyond being an awesome quizzer, this team, I like their hairstyle a lot. So well done, and a warm welcome. Thanks. Give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> welcome, team FMS. Over to Ayam Indor. Uh, good morning. I'm Shivish Shukla, and he's uh, Jay Garg, and we are from Ayam Indor. And as I said, one of them is an undergraduate student. So a special round of applause for team Ayam Indor. <laughs> Over to team, I'm Ahmedabad. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Abhijit, and this is Manish. We're from I'm Ahmedabad. Great baritone. Welcome. Do well in today's quiz. <laughs> <laughs> team, I'm Bodhgaya. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ayman Sahai, and this is my friend, Aditya Joshi. We are both from I'm Bodhgaya. Welcome, team. I'm Bodhgaya. Over to I'm Kolkata. Hi, this is Piyush, and this is Arnab. We are from I'm Calcutta. Right. So uh, continue clapping, ladies and gentlemen. These are the 12 brightest minds that we have collected for, for you ac from across the country, as you can see. So uh, let's begin uh, without any further ado. So what you might have seen uh, yesterday at the national semifinals, we have some additional rounds. Uh, it'll be uh, a fun quiz, a tough quiz, uh, nevertheless. So we are going to start with a round uh, which is in a clockwise direction. We have taken analogies from the stock market. We have given uh, names of rounds as such. 
the first round uh, is going to be uh, starting with team one and then we'll proceed towards two, three, four, five, and six in a clockwise direction. Scoring pattern is pretty simple, 10 points for a direct answer or a rebound irrespective, uh, I mean, how it goes. Uh, so flat scoring of 10 points. There's a concept called pouncing for any first time quizzers. Pouncing, I'll quickly explain what that means. So if a question is for team one and let's uh, suppose team four, five, and six, they also think they know the answer to my question, they can attract my attention and uh, go for the pounds. On the pounds, they'll have to write the answer. If they're correct, they get 10 points. If they are incorrect, they lose five points. And then I return back to the team for which it was a direct question. That is all that there is to it. Team one, Sanyas, I hope you are ready. Here comes question number one of the opening round. We call it the opening bell. And all questions, since this is a business quiz, all questions will lead towards that direction. First question, here we go. Uh, a tough one to begin with. All of you know about LEDs, light emitting diodes. Now the question pertains to the history of LED bulbs or LEDs. It is a semiconductor device that emits light when current flows through it. Until 1968, visible and infrared LEDs were extremely costly, hence had little to no practical use. Well, it costs a few hundred dollars. So what happened was HP, the company, surprisingly, Hewlett Packard, which is into computing and things associated with it, they were given uh, the onerous task of uh, further R&D to uh, bring down the cost of LEDs. The question is, which unrelated company so the word unrelated is very very important to all the teams I hope you have heard that which unrelated company to manufacture of LEDs was the first to popularize LEDs and produce it at a mass scale I'm looking for the name of this company bouncing is now open we'll close it in three two and one. Pouncing close. Before I start taking answer, uh, new, needless to uh, tell all our lovely audience to keep their mobile phones or any other electronic gadget safely tucked inside their pockets or their bags. Team Osmania, what is going to be your answer? Mind you, I did stress on the word unrelated company. Monsanto? Monsanto. What does Monsanto do? They make bulbs, I suppose. They make bulbs. I said they are unrelated. Unrelated means they do not make bulbs. So what is their main business? What does Monsanto do? They produce LEDs, right? Sorry? Ma Monsanto. <laughs> no, I've heard that, Monsanto. My follow-up question is, so, uh, what I mean by that, if you say Bajaj, my obvious follow-up question would be, what does Bajaj do? Yeah, make electronics. Right. Well, uh, mortal difficulty for me. Monsanto is an unrelated company. They are an agri-tech company. They are into agriculture, hence unrelated. But any which way, uh, Monsanto is the right answer. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Team Osmania University. Monsanto is the right answer. They are an agri-tech company company. Well done, Team Osmania University. As we now trudge along to Team FMS for the direct question coming up on the screen. Uh, this is one of my favorite questions about Bollywood and business, a combination of both. Both are my favorite topics. Mughal Azam, the film, one of the greatest, greatest films ever made in India, magnum opus. So the question is, it took decades for Mughal Azam to be made and it faced a severe crisis along the way. Shortly after partition, film producer Shiraz Ali migrated to Pakistan, leaving the director K. Asif without a financier. The original actor, Chandra Mohan, suffered a heart attack and died in 1949. Shiraz Ali previously suggested that a tycoon could finance the film Although he knew very little about filmmaking or various aspects of filmmaking, but he was very interested in the history of India and in particular Mughal India. Hence this tycoon decided to finance the film. And as I say, the rest is history. Question is, who is this great, great person, a tycoon? 
who actually financed Mughle Azam. And the pounce is now open, closing in three, two. The business house will suffice. The business house will suffice. Three, two, one. Closing. I'll allow that to I'm Indore, I'm Ahmedabad, and I'm Kolkata. All the three IIMs are going for it. Please don't hide it from me. Can we have your answer? And team IIM Kolkata. Still very early into the quiz. Uh, that is over. You have to give an answer before the countdown ends. All right. So uh, this is how it goes. Team IIM Indore gets 10 points. Please give them a round of applause. 10 points to IIM Indore. Uh, don't look at me like that, Team IIM Ahmedabad. I wish you hadn't gone for it. Minus five for IIM Ahmedabad. Team four. Team four gets a minus five. Please don't clap for a negative. And Team IIM Kolkata, one of the champion teams, they also land up in positive territory. So plus 10 points to Team six. And as we now trudge along to FMS Delhi. This is the Palonji group. The Shapurji Palonji group. The Shapurji Palonji group will give you 10 points. Well done, Team FMS uh, Delhi. So that's 10 points. I'll reiterate. Team 2 gets 10. Team 3 gets 10. Team 4 gets a minus 5. And Team 6 gets a 10. Go, let's go to the answer, by the way, for our lovely audience. This is indeed the Shapurji Palonji group. At one point in time, uh, the you know Eureka Forbes group, AquaGuard, all of you might have been using it. So they were the ones behind this. All right, let's now go across to team IIM Indoor for the direct question. Once again, to remind the other teams, it is open on the pounds. Here's a question. Most of the demand for a certain group of professionals is seen from wealthy individuals in emerging markets, from Russian oligarchs to billionaires in Dubai, and of course, the rich Chinese. How can we leave them behind? Some of them may already have housekeepers and staff but the desire to hire trained professionals is on the rise due to their portrayal in a certain television series that started in 2010. So there are two parts. Let me quickly clarify how part points work on a pounce. If you get one part correct, before you pounce, please listen up. If you get one part correct on the pounce and the other incorrect, you do not lose any points. You get five points. Of course, you lose points if you get both parts incorrect. So the two parts that I'm looking for is the name of the series and the profession, both the profession and the series. Pouncing closes in three, two, one, and pouncing is closed. Please hide your answers. Other teams might be interested at what you're writing. Okay, and the profession, I have seen that you must discuss before uh, please do discuss and deliberate. This is, this is a serious business today. Team FMS, Team 2 will pick up a negative 5. Minus 5 to FMS. Team FMS, one of the contenders for the top honors today, they got a negative 5. Minus 5 is something you will not get. Well done. Plus 10 points, Team 6. Let's clap for them. As we now return to Team I am Indoor to seek an answer from them on the microphone. So our guess is maybe nannies and we are not sure about the TV show. Okay, nannies. Uh, take a guess at the name of the show. 2010, you know about the vintage. Manny and Modern Please family. speak, lean into the microphone so that all of us can hear uh, you. Modern Family. The, the Modern Family and nannies. Nanny and nanny. Yeah. I'm taken back to the Modern Family. I'm trying to think about the nannies. Team four. That's what are you thinking of? Uh, We'll say these are personal shoppers. 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 Okay. And uh, suits for the lack of better kids. If it was personal shoppers, I thought you should have gone to the other one, which had four ladies. Yes. Team Bodh Gaya. We think that the series is Game of Thrones and that the profession is. Uh, Cutting door. throats, maybe? Huh? <laughs> door holders. All right. Over to Team Osmania. No, we pass. We are not sure. You are passing on both. All right. Done with all the teams. Only one team got it right. Uh, the other teams were not even close, actually. 
somebody said the shoppers so if you are thinking about shoppers probably you should have gone to desperate housewives maybe but that's not the uh, trajectory that we are going into anybody in the audience though who wants to try yes team ift kolkata butlers and downtown abbey ladies and gentlemen entirely right let's give a round of applause to our friend from iift kolkata uh, can we give some prizes please keep your hands raised so that uh, our volunteers can spot you this is downtown abbey and of course butlers all right next up is going to be a direct question for team number four other teams look sharp on the pounds dash coffee is a movement in coffee marketing emphasizing high quality Beans are typically sourced from individual farms and are roasted more likely to bring out their distinctive flavors. Though the term was coined only in 1999, the approach originates in the 1970s, which is a few decades earlier. An Indian coffee chain founded in 2016 by three young entrepreneurs, namely Shishant Goel, Ayush Bhatwal, and Aniruddha Sharma, share the same name as the name of this movement. Question is, what is the name of the movement? Hence, what is the name of this chain? Bouncing will close in three, two, one, and closed. Two and six will be allowed to pounce. And let's now go across to I am Kolkata, who are already on a roll. Uh, today, they are on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Ten points to team six and ten points to team two as well. Well done. As we now return to team I am Ahmedabad for their direct answer. Third wave coffee. Third wave coffee is the right one. Ten points to team four. Don't stop clapping people. These are awesome answers. Well done to team four, to team six and to team two. Next up is going to be a direct question for team I. I am both Gaya. Here we go. In the 1977 or there about decades, this founder of an eponymous company was appointed. Uh, this is probably the toughest question and the question that I like the most in today's final. So I'm talking about a gentleman who was actually appointed in the Jimmy Carter administration. Once he was appointed as undersecretary in the Department of Commerce, so uh, when he assumed office, he sold his company to Beatrice Foods for 100 million USD, obviously to avoid any conflict of interest. Around the 1980s, he reacquired the company after remitting office for $55 million. Just imagine, he sold it uh, for 100 million and a few years uh, he got it back for half that amount or for $55 million. Less than a year before his death in August of 2010, he bought Newsweek magazine from the Washington Post company paying only $1. Who is the person and which company was founded by him now acquired by Samsung Electronics? Again, two parts to this question. I'm looking for the name of the person and the eponymous brand. So the eponymous brand, of course, will bear some part of his name. Both are interrelated. Looking for the name of the company and the name of the brand. Pouncing will close in three, two. You are pouncing. I hope you have heard my question. I need two parts. Yes, you get half points for part correct answers. I can't understand this. Please write in bold letters. <coughs> and the name of the person? All right, I'll use my discretion. Please do clap for Usmania. They get five points. They get five points for getting it part correct. Pouncing is now closed. It's a direct for I am Bodh Gaya. What's your guess going to be? Uh, we don't know the person, but is the media house Vice Media? Vice Media, no. I am Kolkata. Ralph Nader and uh, Nader Company. No. Team FMS. I need a quick answer, Team FMS. Meredith. Sorry? Meredith, Meredith. No. Team Amindar. An honest request to all the six teams when you speak and answer, please do lean into the microphone because there's some reverberation. Yes, I'm indoor. No idea, random guess. Craft Foods. Which Craft Foods? Craft, craft. Craft Foods. Okay. No, it's not Craft Foods. Team, I'm Ahmedabad. Uh, we'll say the company is Corning. Okay. Person and the founder would be? No idea. Obviously, eponymous company, so it has to be Mr. Corning. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, 
audience so when i started this question i did say it's one of my favorite questions for a reason of course he later on went on to uh, uh, found a company which is into audio equipment so all those who are fans of music and wear their headphones this is harman sydney harman sydney harman and harman cardon let's go to the answer you can clap for the questions also sometimes or wouldn't charge you a dime for it this is sydney harman all right so five questions gone the last question of this round is a direct uh, audience a little quieter please if you have to discuss please toggle down the switch of your microphone the last question of this round is a direct for i am kolkata let's see what we have in store for you ah i'm looking for the name of an island country located in the pacific ocean it was for a time one of the wealthiest countries in the world in the 1980s in terms of gdp per capita due to phosphate mining operations though phosphate mining has been documented since 1907 the independent government gained control of the mines in the 1970s now landowners they had a very interesting time in this particular country the citizens of this country out of choice they did not do anything out of choice because they were very very wealthy but uh, since then due to various faulty decisions and uh, dwindling reserves of phosphates the country has now become one of the poorest in the world question is which country is this it is open on the pounds closing in 3 2 1 closed only 5 and 3 will be allowed to pounds that's a minus 5 for team 3 minus 5 for three, team 3 Oh, not an easy answer to get. Well done, team. I am both Gaya. Plus ten points. Love that answer of yours. I am both Gaya. Is team number five to my back end team. Team six. I am Kolkata. Will now try an answer. Let the auction begin with the name of the countries. <laughs> yes, I am Kolkata. Uh, it's a Guam. Maybe three plausible guesses, maybe. Guam. Yeah, Guam is called dibs upon now. Osmania. Now. Sorry. Nauru. Nauru. Whoa! What an answer! What an answer from the Sanyas. This is Nauru. Yes, Nauru. One of the richest countries in the 80s due to its, uh, I mean, in terms of per capita GDP due to the phosphate reserves. It was actually estimated that by 2015. all the reserves will completely run dry thankfully that hasn't entirely happened but it's dwindling very very fast they are close to bankruptcy and all ladies and gentlemen if you liked those answers please do give a round of applause to all the six teams i'm loving this and as usual not to leave our audience behind uh, to the regular quiz teams please resist from answering this is to the non quizzing audience as it were next up is an audience question let's see what do we have for you Which hospitality major has announced the appointment of Zubin Saxena as senior VP and country head India? He'll be taking charge in January next year. Which is headquartered out of? He's going to sit out of Gurugram, not too far away from where we are. Hospitality major. So think about companies which are uh, in the hotel industry. Give us a guess. If you are wrong, I'm not going to penalize you. I might give you a prize even for a wrong answer sometimes. How about you people? I'm sure you go to various hotels. What do you think? Give us the name of a hotel. Hilton what's your name Aditya Aditya and you are from the NTPC school of business you are an employee of NTPC ladies and gentlemen do clap for him he is absolutely right Hilton it is wonderful 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 answer all right then so if morning shows the day the first round would have uh, told you by now about the acumen of this lovely six teams next up we are going to round number 2 let's see what do we have <laughs> from the hectic parlays of the opening bell now we are going to make it even more chaotic why because it is intra day trading i'm going to say this again uh, without exception all your mobile phones should be inside your pockets please if you have an urgent call to attend you might please go outside the auditorium attend your calls and come back in all right So we'll start with a quick buzzer test starting only with team 1 please press the buzzer working reset can you move the bouquet a little to your uh, left so that i have a clear vision of your buzzer sets that will do team 2 working reset team 3 working reset team amamdabad working reset team 5 
Walking reset. And team six. A little harder. Yes, walking reset. Yeah. You need to bang on it. <laughs> team six. All right. Six questions. However, and to my back end team also, the scoring pattern has changed. Of course, this round, uh, though it might uh, kind of probe into a little bit into your depth of knowledge, but this round is more about speed. Hence, the questions will be a little easier in comparison to the other rounds. Hence, logically, the scoring pattern will also differ. Plus eight or a minus five. Plus eight or a minus five. This will test the speed of all the teams, all the best teams. Only the fastest team will be allowed to answer. Let's start question number one coming up on the screen now. The Adventures of Seinfeld and Superman is a pair of adverts, a film promoting which American financial services corporation featuring Jerry Seinfeld as himself and Patrick Warburton as the voice of Superman. Lot of clues, American financial services company. Please remember, great prizes for the podium finishers, so you have to take those half chances. I'm going to close it in three, two, one, and close. This is American Express, American Express or Amex. You should look sharp on the buzzer, fingers on the buzzer buttons. Question number two coming up on the screen now. Which Indian startup entrepreneur, yes team six, answer quickly. Vijay Shekhar Sharma, how did you uh, decipher that? VSS stands for Vijay Shekhar Sharma. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a reason why they're awesome. Plus eight points. Plus eight. Once again, paging to my back end team, it's not 10, but eight points. Eight points to team six. Question number three coming up now. Which fictional hero? Yes, team six, once again. Sinbad. Sinbad the sailor. Well done once again. Oman Air, Sinbad the Sailor is the name of the loyalty program, plus eight points, once again picked up by Team I am Kolkata as we trudge along to question number four now. This is the Dash Butterfly Fish, a species of marine ray filled fish which has a wide Indo-Pacific distribution. It shares its name with an energy company that ranked 10th on the Fortune 500 list in 2023. Its name came into use for some of its retail products in the 1930s, though the name Calso was also used from 46 to 55. Which company is this? Look at the fish. The clue is in how it looks. How it looks. Koredao. Yes, team. I am Kolkata. You are. Somebody is very excited at your answer, but just to bust the enthusiasm of both the teams, that's incorrect. That's the logo of Chevron. Those are called Chevrons, right? The uh, look at the picture is what I said. So don't clap for a wrong answer, please. They lose five points, so minus five for team six, minus five. Shell is incorrect. Question number five coming up. Which Indian premium men's apparel brand was started by Manish Podar owner and creative director of Radha Mani Group as a concept store in UB City Mall of Bengaluru. Now, of course, they have expanded across the country. They project themselves as one of the premium brands. They are not only an apparel brand, but they have tie-ups with various foreign uh, entities and have brought many home decor products also to the country. I'm going to close it in three, two, one close. This is the house of rare hens, rare rabbit. This is rare rabbit. Let's go to the answer, please. This is rare rabbit or the house of rare. Question number six and the last one. It is a Japanese retailer which sells a wide variety of household and consumer goods uh, which designs, whose design philosophy is minimalist and a no logo. Yes, team, I'm in door. Quick answer. We'll just say Miniso. You will say mini so. When I was framing this question, I thought some team might be goaded into that direction. Unfortunately, it's not mini so. Minus five points for team number three. Anybody in the audience, quick answer, please. Only one answer is what I'll entertain. It's not mini so, but it's a uh, related direction. It's not Uniqlo either. No. Yeah, yeah IFT. No, that's also incorrect. Here comes the right answer. It is Muji, one of the bigger brands. This is Muji. Muji is pretty much Japanese, uh, though it is, as, as is the case, owned by Chinese investors, but it is a Japanese brand. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that about concludes the Fast and Furious round. 
So all the six teams doing pretty well, and it's a good time to have a first look at the scorecard. But before that, as always, my job is to entertain all the audience here. Can we have a look at the audience question and then the scores to be put up on screen? On 26th January 2023, X announced the launch of his apparel label called Force 9. And a select athleisure line was made available on the e-commerce platform of Mintra, who is X non-quizzing audience first, then I'll come back to the quizzing audience. Mobile phones inside your pockets, otherwise that kills the fun. Anybody from this side maybe? Well-known personality, very well-known, of course well-known in a different context. And who's, so I'm looking for the name of the person. HRX is by Rithik Roshan. No, it's not. So, so you have given the answer to your question. HRX is owned by Rithik Roshan, so I'm looking for a different person. Yeah, very polite of you, who's that? Yeah. Calm down, my friend. Yeah, just for your sheer enthusiasm, give him a prize. I don't care whether his answer is correct or not. Give him a prize. Give him a prize. <laughs> What's your name? Give us your name. Deepesh. And you're from? NDPC. Employee or studying? Yes, sir. Employee. Employee. Deepesh. And what's your answer now? Akshay Kumar. Akshay Kumar says Deepesh. Well done. Let's clap for Deepesh. <laughs> yes, it is Akshay Kumar. Ladies and gentlemen, we have three more rounds to go, but at this point in time, it's a good time to have a first look at the scorecard. Here we go. 41 points to I am Kolkata, Usmani on 25, FMS on 15, and those are the other scores. Fantastic scores. All right, I'm loving this already. Let's shift action now to round number three. What stock market analogy do we have up next? It is going to make a showing shortly. But in this round, all uh, rules will remain intact. 10 points of flat scoring, uh, irrespective of whether it's on a direct or rebound. On the pounds, it's a plus 10 or a minus 5. Let's go to round number 3. We are into the bull territory now. Uh, random questions, uh, mixed up questions. We are going to start with team I am Kolkata and in a counterclockwise direction, we'll trudge along towards team Osmania. Osmania, just a quick word of caution in case you want to go for the pounds, please do that within the stipulated time frame because once I have passed, there's no point pouncing it further. All right, uh, team six, here comes question number one. This is Zhang Xin, who is known, quote unquote, the woman who built Beijing was once a factory worker, later graduating from Cambridge with a master's degree in economic development, where she wrote a master's thesis on privatization in China. She worked for Goldman Sachs before launching a Chinese office building developer company with her husband. Question is, what is the name of this company? Uh, she did a lot of things. I mean, she was kind of a bridge uh, between the US investors and China, bringing in privatization to China and all of that. Uh, now she is retired. She is actively pursuing philanthropic work. So my question is, what is the name of the company? This will close in three, two, don't have to use a buzzer. Please reset the buzzer. Just uh, raise your hand. Yeah. Three, two, one, closed. One and uh, three will be allowed to pounce. That will be a minus five for team three. That will be a plus 10 for team one. Please do clap for them. Plus 10 for team one. As we now return to team, I'm Kolkata. Uh, I guess uh, Evergrande. That would have been very obvious. I should have given an additional clue, but since now I've already taken answers, I can't. Team five, it's not ever grande. New Horizon Development? Sorry? New Horizon Development? No. Passes across to team four. It's evergreen. It's not evergreen. Team uh, I'm Indore have answered. Team FMS Delhi. This is the Alibaba. Alibaba Group, no, and they are into various things, but not into office building. All right, the clue that I would have given otherwise, uh, which I did not, was that the name is, uh, uh, it does not lend its name, but there is a similar name of a very posh locality in London. Posh locality in London. Soho, Soho is the answer. This is Soho. Well done. Let's go to the answer. This is Soho, China. Don't forget to clap for all those lovely, lovely answers, even if it comes from the audience. Please uh, show your hand so that we can give a prize. Yeah, I hope you have given the prize to the right person. You did say Soho, is it? Okay, fair enough. Soho, China it is. 
Next question, it'll be a direct for team IIM Bodh Gaya. Let's go to the question, please. This is Saima Wazid, a mental health expert. She has been nominated as the next regional director of WHO's Southeast Asia region. A psychologist by training, she'll succeed India's Dr. Poonam Khetrapal Singh and assume office in February of next year. Simple question is, who is Saima Wazid's mother? Obviously, it has to be illustrious, hence the question. Bouncing will close in three, two, one, and closed. Bouncing is closed. All right. Uh, Team FMS will lose five points for that. Minus five to team two as we now return to team I am Bodhgaya. Illustrious mother. For lack of a better guess, Sheikh Hasina. For lack of a better guess. Why do you say lack of a better guess? Why do you think that's a bad guess? She looks like her. <laughs> so that should have been a good guess, isn't it? Is entirely correct. Well done, 10 points. Is entirely correct. That is Sheikh Hasina's daughter. 10 points to team uh, 5 IIM Bodh Gaya. Well, let's go to the answer, by the way. Let's go to the answer, please. This is indeed Sheikh Hasina. Next up is going to be a direct question for team 4 IIM Ahmedabad. This is Alberto Santos Dumo, who was a Brazilian pioneer aviator and one of the few people to have contributed significantly to the early development of aircrafts. In 1904, Santos complained to his friend of the unreliability and impracticality of using pocket watches while flying. Hence, he suggested to his friend to make something uh, wonderful. Question is, who was this friend of Santos? As I've been saying, I mean, knowing your quiz master helps. In my quiz, there will be question on watches. What is the name of his friend? Bouncing will close in three, two, one and bouncing is closed. Let me tell you at least this much. Santos is one of those holy grails of watch collecting like a Patek, uh, like a Royal Oak Patek or a, you know, a, a, a JLC or some such. So this is not some small company. You might uh, lead into the guests accordingly. Not a small company, very well known, not only for watchmaking, but for other things as well. Yes, team, uh, I'm Abdabad. Need to extract an answer from you. So what did you say at the end? Not only known for watchmaking, but... Yeah, they do many things, is what I said. Huh? I'll give you some more time. <coughs> the surname would suffice at my discretion. The surname would suffice. Okay, we'll see. Uh, Constantine. Constantine. Which one? Vacheron? You are talking about fashion on Constantine? No? I'm in door. Our guess is Cartier. Cartier. And what would be Cartier's first what would be Cartier's first name? Pierre Cartier. Pierre Cartier. You have some fan following irrespective of whether your answer is correct or incorrect. But uh, team Wellinker, you can continue clapping. That's the right answer. Well done, Cartier it is. Plus ten points to team three. This is Cartier. Let's go to the answer. Uh, Dumo, so uh, one of the most uh, Fascinating watches of Cartier is named upon this aviator, Dumo. All right, Santos is what they call it, but uh, that's part of his name. All right, next one, it's a direct question for, uh, just to uh, reiterate to my backend team. It's uh, plus uh, 10 points to team three, I am Indore. And nobody gets any points on the pounce. Next up is a question direct for I, I am Indore. UDS is a gathering of developers which occurs prior to the release of a new public version. The summit is open to the public but is not a conference exhibition or some such as uh, suggested by them. Rather, it is an opportunity for developers who usually collaborate online to work together in person on specific tasks. Question is, which community participates in UDS? Which community participates in UDS? Pouncing will close in three, two, one. Team, team uh, I am, do let us know if you are pouncing. Yes, okay. Three, two, one, because you make me nervous. One time going for it, not going for it. Which one? 
Will suffice plus 10 points for team six. Let's clap for them. Okay, that's an umbrella term. Can you be a little more specific? I'm looking for a brand, specific brand name. That'll give you a minus five. Minus five to team four. Minus five to team four. Plus 10 to team six. And who else pounced? Uh, nobody else. Okay. So it's a direct question for team. I'm indoor. What's your answer? Is it Ubuntu? Is it Ubuntu? I don't know. You need to tell me, my friend. It's Ubuntu. It's Ubuntu. Well done. Plus 10 points. Say no further. It is Ubuntu developers. Ubuntu operating system. Yes. That will uh, be a plus 10 for team three. Next up, it's a direct question for team FMS Delhi team two. Here we go. Maybe right question to the right team. No, you don't have to pounce FMS, it's your direct, so calm down. Sanjeev Saraf is an alum of the Sindhya School Gwalior, who later went on to graduate from IIT Kharagpur in 1980. In 1984, he established Polyplex Corporation, a major producer of thin polyester films, and is among the 35 Indian companies in the Forbes list of uh, best under a billion list. Of course, this is the Asian edition. He is widely recognized as a visionary founder of which foundation. I've given you the backdrop of this person about his business ventures, but he is equally known, if not better known, for his foundation. I'm looking for the name of this foundation. Pouncing will close in three, two. I'm Kolkata, you must go for it. It's easy. Three, two, one. And will close. Three and six will be allowed. Now you have said you have to give an answer. No. I thought you might go to that direction. Minus five for team six. Minus five for team six. Minus five. Identical to what team six wrote. Minus five to team three. So minus five to team three. Minus five to team six. And I did suggest that it is the right question to the right team. What's your answer? So, Sanjeev Far Saraf... Uh, Only the answer, please. I think this is Rekta Foundation. This is the Rekta Foundation. Yes, it is. This is Rekta, who have been working tirelessly for the preservation of Urdu language and Urdu poetry and all of that. He's a published author, by the way, as Team FMS will tell you. They wrote Speak Mackay, by the way. Both the teams wrote Speak Mackay. Yeah. No, no, I'm only taking Unix. I can't take three different answers. Had you written Ubuntu in the first uh, part, I would have given you points. All right, next up, it's a direct question for the girls. Team uh, six, uh, but you don't have to break a sweat on this because it's your direct, so you can take your time. Here comes, ah, you have got one of the toughest ones. The French company has been making strings for tennis and badminton rackets since 1875, not 1975, 1875, when Pierre X, the surname, which lends his name to the name of the company, created the first strings made of natural gut. One of the famous products called Pure Aero, known for its spin potential, has been used both by Nadal as well as Carlos Alcaraz. What sports equipment company am I talking about, which is an eponymous company named upon the founder? And pouncing will close in three. Uh, team four, let us know. Are you going for it? Not going for it? it closes in three. Half-hearted appeal yet. Going for it? Three, two, one. Closed. Teams are confusing me. Whether you want to go for the pounce, be emphatic about it. Wow. What an answer. What an answer. The answer of the day. Let's clap for team. I am Ahmedabad. Team four gets, and I absolutely mean it. That's the answer of the day yet. As we now return to team uh, Osmania, what's your answer? Uh, and I love it if you pronounce the name correctly as well. I need an answer quickly, girls. Three, two, three, two, one. Once again, lean into the microphone and say that again. Babulat. Babula is what you mean. I'll give that ten points to you. Well done. This is. Where? 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 That's why I didn't propound. I can't see it yet. Even I can't, I can't see, see it. Yet. Yeah, okay, give. Okay, okay. Give a minute. <laughs> all right. All right. No, we didn't see what? That. What was? Yeah. All. All of you, calm down. All of you, calm down. Yeah. There is some inside of the racket which is impossible for me to spot. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. What we'll do is we'll. Uh, 
obviously rescind this question and uh, we'll go yeah that's fair so we'll uh, cancel this question and go to the next question in the so please hold on hold on please cancel the question whatever points i have given to the teams for this question please uh, change that no scores for any teams on this one no scores for any teams on this one okay yeah thanks for pointing that out you know, not only, I mean, a quiz master these days not only has to make questions, but also has to have a good eyesight, yeah. I still couldn't figure out where it was written, but thanks for pointing out, team two. Okay, now I have pointed out, yeah. So let's go to the answer. Let's go to the answer to this one. Yeah, this is Babulat. All right, so it was a direct question for team... Uh, I want to say something. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next question. Uh, it is going to be a direct for team six. Let's see what we have. Yeah, it is open on the pounds. Yeah, yeah, same way, same way. It is a question uh, to team six, to team six, I'm sorry. Team one, right? You'll repeat the question or not? Okay, yes, we are going to, yeah, that is what I said. So you pointed me to that direction. Please don't. It is for team Usmania. Yeah, let's go to the question. I will have to come there. Can we, uh, can we close the... Monitors for a moment, is that possible? All right, fair enough. Audience, you need to be quieter, please, all the teams. Team I am Kolkata, quiet. FMS, quiet. All right, same way. Uh, so we are set. Uh, it's a direct for Osmania. Open on the pounds to the other teams. Here comes the question. In a while. Let's go to the question. Mm, team Osmania. Here we go. Please look sharp on the pounds. This is the Vitra fire station in Germany. Was the first built project by which famous Iraqi British architect, who was described by the Guardian as the queen of curves and who liberated architectural geometry, giving it a whole new expressive identity. I'm looking for the name of this person, and pouncing will close in three. Two, one, closed. Let's see what they write. Ten points to team six. Please do clap for them. Ten points to team uh, four. Clap for them. And ten points to team two. Clap for them as well. Team uh, Osmania will now try and answer. Zaha Hadid. We need the scores after the end of this question. Zaha Hadid. Zaha Hadid will give you ten points. Well done. Let's clap for them also. This is Zaha Hadid, the architect. Yes. All right. Let's go back. We'll have a look at the scores. But in the meanwhile, why not ask some audience questions? Are we ready, though, with the scores? No? Okay. It'll take some time. So let me ask uh, audience question very, very quickly. All right. How about uh, asking a question now? Uh, uh, again, one of my other favorites, other than watches, is of course uh, movies, Bollywood, right? Okay, quick uh, question. In terms of nomination, in uh, okay, let me ask two questions. First question is going to be easy. The second one okay. probably a little more difficult. So, which particular award was earlier named upon a filmfare journalist, and it was? Uh, who was uh, writing, you know, reviews, etc. Uh, well, she was a strict, not the new reviewers kind. Mm -hmm. Hence, the name of the award was by somebody called Dash Mendonka. Dash Mendonka. Give us the name of this award. Named upon a Times of India journalist. So, what is the name of the award? I see one hand. Femina Award. No, it's not the Femina. It's one of the famous ones, so why not take a try? Uh, I'll come to you a little later. Anybody else? Probably in the non-quizzing audience. Think about Times uh, Held Awards, which is like one of the biggest in its field. Well, biggest or not, we'll, uh, we don't know, but one of the most popular ones for sure. This is the Film Fair. And what was the earlier name of it? 
Clare Award was his earlier name, named upon Clare Mendonca. Give a round of applause to Wellinker and a prize with it. Yeah, Wellinker is only clapping for themselves. Others, you can please appreciate a Wellinker. Well done. This is Clare Award. Seems like we are ready. Here we go. 56 to Ayan Kolkata, still leading by a slender margin. Well done, Ayan Kolkata. All right, let's switch back. Let's switch back to the next round. What do we have next in store? Let's see. We are done with three rounds. Two more to go. What do we have up next? We are going to again reverse the direction of the round. So last round, we ended with Osmania. Right? This time we'll start with you. So we'll start with team one and in a clockwise direction we'll go towards team number six. Same uh, way it operates, 10 points flat scoring and 10 and minus five on the pounds. All right, let's go to the first uh, question of the next round. I have uh, explained all the rules and uh, this is the penultimate round of this quiz, by the way. Team Osmania, if you are ready, here comes your question on the screen. He has driven a Formula One car in France, a Ferrari 360 Modena in a road and track rally across Europe and a Lamborghini Gallardo for the cannonball run. He has also formed the first ever supercar club in India. He owned a Tesla Model X way, way back before it was available in India and probably in the larger part of Asia. Simple question is, who is this person? Pouncing will close in three. I'm looking for the name of the person, by the way. Three. Two, one, come on people, go for the pounces. This is one of the easier ones. Three, two, one, closed. Only I'm indoor. They have picked up a few negatives on the pounds, but still going for it. Won't stop. That's the spirit. You should not stop because this time you've got it right. Well done, 10 points, two team, three. As we now return to the girls. What's your answer? Quick answer, please. You should be ready because you've got a lot of time. Three, two, Co four. Passing it across to Team FMS. Oswal. Oswal. Which Oswal? I'm looking for the name of the person. The Mr. Oswal? The the yeah, thank you for telling us. I'm looking for the name. What Oswal? Passing it across to Team I am Ahmedabad. On the microphone, please. Pavan Munjal, no of the hero group. Gautam Singhania. Gautam Singhania has been in the news for all the wrong reasons. This time you are right. Well done. 10 points. This is Gautam Singhania of Raymond. Of course, Gautam Singhania. That's 10 points to team uh, number five. 10 points to team five. Next up, direct question for team FMS. This entity was founded in 1965 as a Maps and Atlases Publication Private Limited in collaboration with Bertelsmann of uh, Germany, one of Europe's leading cartographic printing houses. Question is, which Indian conglomerate comes out with these Indian maps? I'm looking for the name of the conglomerate. Indian conglomerate. Obviously, this is not the only thing that they do. It's a conglomerate, so obviously they are more famous into other fields of operation. However, they also come out with these maps. Pouncing will close in three, two, one, and closed. Team two will now try and answer. We'll say Murugappa group. It's not the Murugappa group. Team three. Is it Manorama? No, it ain't. Team four. We'll see Apollo. Apollo? No. Team five. Uh, Bennett and Co. Sorry? Bennett and Co. Bennett. No, it's not Bennett. Team six. Uh, Hindustan Times. Hindustan Times? No. The girls? TTK Healthcare. Oh, in unison, both of you. Okay. We are in a chorus. TTK group. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 points. Well done. This is TTK. TT Krishnamachari. TTK, um, the patriarch of the company, was unfortunately embroiled in some uh, political controversy some time back. But uh, this is the TTK group. Next question. Uh, Gaurav, that's a 10 points to Team Osmania. Team 1. 
All right. Next up, this is a video. So watch out for the video. You'll get enough time. Don't pounce right away. It's a video. She is the founder of a British cosmetics perfume and scented candle brand, which was founded in 1990. It has been owned since 99 by Estee Lauder. Who is she? Play. It starts, and then my mind starts to build a story. And it doesn't build it with words, it builds it with fragrance notes. But do you know something in life, sometimes you get curveballs. It was called cancer. What I did realize is I had a chance of okay, getting my stop. life back. That should be what I didn't realize. For the teams, it's a direct for team three. Uh, suffered from cancer, sold uh, her empire to someone, came back stronger with another brand. Who is she? Bouncing is still open, by the way. Closes in three, two, one. Closed. Team three, what's your answer? It's a pass. No negative, so you've been living life dangerously on the pounces, which has a negative component. Why not try and guess on this one? Quick. You still wish to pass? Passes across to team I am Ahmedabad. We have no idea, but we'll just go for a British surname. So we'll say Emin. Sorry? Emin. No. Team uh, five. Please be a little louder. Diane Hutchison. Sorry, once again? Diane Hutchison. No. Team I'm Kolkata. Uh, Mary Elizabeth. <laughs> Team uh, Osmania. No. Team Osmania. No, we, we pass. Passes the cross to team two. Marriage. Mary Jane. <laughs> All right. Team three, they have answered. Audience, who wants to take a guess at this one? Anyone? Anyone? Famous brand, uh, fragrances, uh, candles. Nobody? This is Joe Malone. This is Joe Malone. Here comes the answer on it's screen. Not. This is Joe Malone. Yes. Uh, sold it to ST and, of course, later on came with another brand. Now, the next one, it's a direct for team IIM Ahmedabad. This is the Midland Hotel. It is a grand hotel in Manchester, opened in 1903 and was built by the Midland Railway to serve Manchester Central Railway Station. The Beatles were famously refused access to this French restaurant for being what they called inappropriately dressed. The founders of a company met at this hotel for the first time in 1904. Their meeting is commemorated in the sculpture pictured on the right. So who are they? Who are the two people? Hence the name of the company. Closes in three, two, one, and now closed. Team five and team six will now try and answer. Which one? Okay. Ten points to team five. Clap for them, please. Ten points to team five and ten points to team six. Is there any special reason for louder claps for team six? Please do clap for team five also. Yeah. Well done to both. And the question now passes across to team four. I'm Ahmedabad. Who are they? Uh, Aston Martin. No, it's not Aston Martin. Team Osmania. Midland Railway Company. That is part of the question. It's written there, Midland. No. Team FMS. Sorry? Ritz and Carls. Ritz and Carls. Okay. So you just gave birth to a new company and a new combination? No. Are, they are different. Ritz Carlson. Okay. The team I'm in door. Random is Smith and Wesson. Smith and Wesson. Oh, that's a good name. Smith and Wesson. All right. We are done with all the teams. Uh, let's give a try first to someone else, then I'll return back. Any, anyone else who wants to try right at the back? I see your hand. You gave a cracker of an answer yesterday. Let's hear you once again. Walmart. Walmart. No, that's not Sam Walton. This is? This is Rolls Royce. Yes, Rolls and Royce. This is Rolls Royce. Let's go to the answer. You can clap for the audience answers also. Rolls Royce, IFT, well done. Now we are off to the penultimate question in this particular sequence. I'll tell you what happens in the last round a little later. For this one, I, I am both Bodhgaya. Please be ready. Other teams on the pounce. Let's go to question five. Outside of sports, he is a successful entrepreneur and known for his promotion of an eponymous brand of grill. 
which has sold more than 100 million units worldwide. Who? Sold more than 100 million units. Who? Might be a little easy for gen quizzers. Pouncing. All of them have pounced, so I'll close it. All right, uh, 10 points to team six, clap for them. 10 points to team six, 10 points to team five, 10 points to team four. Team four, team four yeah. not us. Sorry, uh, once again, 10 points to team, uh, please don't talk in between. Yeah, 10 points to team, uh, I am Kolkata, that's team six. 10 points to team, uh, I am Ahmedabad, that is team four. 10 points to I am Indore, and 10 points to FMS Delhi, that's team two. Got it? Okay. okay. As we now return to team, uh, this is going to be for I am Bodh Gaya. Uh, not sure if I got the name correct. Evander Holyfield. Holyfield, you mean? Holyfield. Evander Holyfield, a boxer. Evander Holyfield. No. Team Osmania. George Foreman. George Foreman, and he is in what sports? I don't know, but he is George Foreman. I know that. Wow. Like, okay, let's be George, George Foreman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, give it up for Team Osmania. Ten points is what they'll get. Please do clap for them. This is George Foreman, the boxer who had a rivalry with Muhammad Ali for a long, long time. Let's have a look at the answer, though. Let's have a look at the answer, though. This is George Foreman. As we now go to the last question, which is going to be for I am Kolkata last in the sequence, though. So I'm just interested to know this course. Can we start with team one, Osmania, verbally? That will do. Team one is on 65 points. Please do clap for them. 65 points. <laughs> team two stays on 40. Team three on 30. Team four on 20. Team five on 40. 76 and still leading I am Kolkata. Well done. All right, last question to I am Kolkata team. Here we go. What do we have next? The Fortune 500 list created by Edgar P. Smith was first published in 1955. One of the top companies in the list introduced a RFID mobile payment device, which was known as the Speed Pass. They later merged with another competitor in 1999. Simple question is, which company introduced the speed pass? Which company introduced the speed pass? It is a Fortune 500 company, so you don't have to think out of the box. It's no small fish. Well known across the world. Which company is this? Bouncing is still open, by the way. I'm both Gaya. You have to go for it. You are on 40 points. So... You have to take those half chances. Closing it in three. How about FMS Delhi? Don't want to go for it. Three, two, one, closed. Only I am Bodh Gaya. Which one? This one. Oh, no. Way off track. Minus five for team five. Minus five. And team six will now try and answer. Fortune 500 company. Try and, you know, decipher from the clues, why would somebody, a company whose main business is not this, why would they introduce a RFID mobile payment device where it would be used? So think on those lines. Uh, we'll guess Walmart. Walmart. At least you are thinking it's not Walmart. Osmania? Mobile. Mobile. Team FMS? Exxon Mobil. That's the right answer. Well done. Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil. <laughs> Let's go to the answer. Please do clap for Team FMS. Please do clap for Team FMS. Well, if teams can read smiles of quiz masters, we'll have a conversation later. <laughs> for the moment, well done to all the six teams. Let's clap for all the six teams. And it's a good time to have a look at the scorecard coming up on the screen shortly. The last round is going to be a little different. I'll tell you how. In the meanwhile, why not ask another audience question, right? Quickly. Huh. What design pattern, what design pattern comes from the name of a place 
which is, I'm not going to give you the exact place because the name of the place gives rise to the name of the design, which is uh, a tartan design pretty much used in socks, clothing, socks mainly, comes from UK region, Ireland included. What is the name of the place that gives rise to this design pattern? Anybody, this is going to be a tough question though. How about you? The name of the design is Scotland. It's not Paisley. Paisley is another design. I was not talking about Paisley. This is Argyle. I'm talking about Argyle, the pattern. All right. Uh, seems like we are ready with this course. Here it comes on the screen. And please uh, do not be stingy while clapping because these teams have earned their place on the stage. Anytime soon, coming up on screen. In the meanwhile, no, we are ready. I was about to ask another audience question. Seventy-six to leading IIM Kolkata FMS Delhi on fifty. Osmani on sixty-five. Other teams. Uh, well, in the meanwhile, let me quickly uh, tell all the teams and our lovely audience members what the teams are playing for, as if they don't already know. Well, apart from the guts, glory, and of course, bragging rights. They are playing for, uh, obviously, some mullahs. 50,000 rupees uh, plus a lifetime of memories is what the winning team will get. Uh, there are cash prizes for the first and the second runners-up team as well. And there are some prizes for all the teams. In fact, the semi-finalists, all the 17 teams that participated yesterday in the three sets of semi-finals, they will all get some prizes or the other. So uh, don't you think NTPC deserves a round of applause for that? Well done, Team NTPC. So then, you know, as a quiz master, uh, the best thing about the person who's holding the mic is that he gets to make all the decisions. So I'm going to make a quick departure on the rules of the last round. Rules of the last round is what? Yes. Let's go to the last round. Don't read into the scoring. <laughs> Uh, don't uh, look into that because I'm going to make a change. All right. So then, you will, we call this round the grid. There will be a grid containing eight to nine different subjects. Each team, one at a time, will be asked to choose a subject of their liking. Right? They, they are pretty broad, so it could be like, you know, automobiles, manufacturing, name of a company, founder, so on and so forth. How we do the round is where the difference comes in. The team which is at the lowest spot before the start of this round will have a first crack at choosing the subject. So let's suppose uh, we'll have a look at the scorecard in a while once again. But uh, for argument's sake, let's say FMS is at the lowest uh, uh, end of the pyramid at this point in time. They'll have a first crack. We'll go in a clockwise direction. Team, I'm Kolkata. I did say don't uh, bother yourself with reading that. I'm uh, making some changes, right? So. If it is a question for FMS Delhi, it is not on uh, regular pounds. It is going to be both on pounds as well as on bounds. Clear? So we'll do a uh, progressive scoring in the normal format if you are not pouncing. So let's say it's a direct for them. Team uh, four and five, they pounce. For them, it's a normal plus 10 or a minus five. Clear? Plus 10 or a minus five. But if it is in the natural sequence from FMS Delhi, if they're wrong, the next team, if they get it right, they get, so increment is plus one point with each pass. From 10, we'll go to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, so on and so forth. Got it? Got it? Any queries for me? Incremental scoring and the bounce will happen only from the team who gets it right on the microphone in the normal sequence. We are not going to consider the bounce on the pounces right so whoever irrespective of whoever has pounced we are not going to consider that clear sorry clockwise yes clear clear okay uh, yeah I need some time to explain to you so let's say the question is a direct for team one in the normal uh, sequence you can answer the microphone so the scoring pattern from 10 if they're wrong will go to the next team if they're right we'll increase one point what's the logic that they have lesser clues right so uh, because somebody has already taken a cue, so that's the logic. So they'll get 11 points. The next team scores, they get 12 points. Next team, 13 points, so on and so forth. And in the normal written format, which is pounds, it's a plus 10 or a minus 5. Now you're clear? 
All right, Gaurav, quickly tell me which team, and once a subject is chosen, you cannot choose the subject anymore, right? So one subject at a time. Pounds is normal, right? Pounds is normal, plus 10, minus 5, yes. Team 4 is uh, on the lowest score. Oh, that's surprising. I'm Ahmedabad. All right, you'll have a first crack. Let's go to the different subjects. Personalities, business practice, automobiles, Fortune 500, luxury brands, woman power, economics, entertainment, famous people, so on and so forth. Acha, I do need a quick breather since uh, we have made some changes in the scoring pattern. For the moment, for the next two minutes, you can just uh, wander at the screen and, and uh, choose your favorite subjects. For the moment, I'll just take a two minute breather so that we can feed in the pattern of uh, this thing. No, I need to see that. Can we switch off all the televisions? Okay. All right. You had a query? Okay. All right. Let's have the feedback. Uh, all the scores have been explained. This is uh, going to be critical. Team four is going to choose their favorite subject, which I hope they have already done. Do you need some more time to choose? We'll choose entertainment. We'll choose entertainment. Entertainment. Okay. Let's go to the grid once again. Entertainment is what team IIM Ahmedabad is choosing. This is your question on entertainment. Please don't answer in a hurry. It's open to the other teams on pounds. The 2014 film called Fox Catcher, directed by Bennett Miller, was based on the events related to the Olympic medal winning Schulz brothers and exploring this businessman's relationship with them. For this portrayal, Steve Carroll was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor. Which businessman did he portray the only member of the 400 uh, richest Americans to be convicted of murder? I need the cue card just because I need to keep track of the... Yeah, please be ready. No, I need a very specific answer. Yeah, I was about to say that. I need a very specific answer on this one. I need uh, the full name, please. Because a family name, there are like, there might be hundreds of people with that surname. <laughs> there will be hundreds of people by that surname. Yeah, it's still open on the pounce, by the way. Pouncing closes in. Three. You are pouncing. Oh, wow. Great. No, you have to write. You have to write on the pounce. Please don't speak a word. Make me nervous. That will be a negative five for Osmania, minus five to team one. As we now return to I am Ahmedabad, since nobody else has pounced. Please speak into the microphone. Pass. Passing? There are no negatives, I am Ahmedabad, so might as well take a guess. We don't know the exact thing. We don't want to give out. Okay. Team I am Bodhgaya is now worth 11 points. We can't remember the name, so uh, Richard Garman. No, it's now what, 12 points? What was name? Uh, William Rockefeller. Okay. William? Rockefeller. 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 No, uh, so it's now worth 13 points. Okay, so this I forgot to mention. If somebody has pounds, they have pounds, so we are not going to consider that, right? So it's worth 13 points, not 14. So this is the DuPont? Rupert DuPont. Rupert Dupont, John I'll Dupont. use my discretion. It's now worth 14 points. On the microphone, please. Uh, we also had the guess as Dupont. We'll just say give Frank answer, Dupont. Please, no prefaces required. Frank what is Dupont. your answer? Frank Dupont. Frank Dupont. We are done with all the teams. Okay. 
So, a team uh, FMS, it was worth 13 points for you. I will use my discretion. Let's go to the answer. Of course, it's one of the DuPonts. This is John DuPont. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. FMS Delhi, don't, don't fight. Please don't change the position, right? Let me use my discretion. I'll use my discretion. You are the first team to say DuPont, so I'll give half the points. So half of 13 is what they will get, 6.5. 6.5 is what FMS Delhi get. Had you gotten that correct answer, we would have divided points, right? That's fair. Let's go back. Uh, yeah, that 6.5 is to FMS. 6.5 is to FMS, team two. Let's go back to the grid. Let's go back to the grid. Which is the next team before this round? I am Indoor is up next. I am Indoor, where they are. Yes, team three. Choose. Entertainment is taken. Economics. Economics. Let's go to economics. Don't answer in a hurry. It's open to the other teams. Let's go to economics. The Capitol Hill Babysitting Cooperative, or CHBC, is a cooperative located in Washington, D.C., whose purpose is to fairly distribute the responsibility of babysitting between its members. The co-op is often used as an allegory for a demand-oriented model of an economy, which economist popularized this through his writings? I'm looking for the name of the economist. It is open on the pounds for the other teams. It is a direct for team three, though. Pouncing will close in three, two, one, and pouncing is closed. Yes, I am Indar. What do you think? Our guess is John Maynard Keynes. John Maynard Keynes, no, it's now worth 11 points. Taylor. Taylor. Richard Taylor. Taylor, okay. Team five, what, 12 points? Milton Friedman. What, 13 points? We'll say Simon Kuznets. What, 14 points? Osmania. You should be ready with your answers on the rebound, no extra time. Passing, what, 15 points now? Uh, we'll say Salma Hayek, the, the Hayek, Hayek, uh, Frederick, Frederick Hayek, sorry, <laughs> Frederick Hayek. Sorry, my Nobody mind. gets any points on this one. You should have gone for the easiest one. When in doubt, why, uh, always go for the obvious one, Krugman. Here comes the answer on screen. This is Paul Krugman. Nobody getting any points on this one. Who is up next? Team five, you are up next. Automobiles. Automobiles. Let's go to automobiles. Other teams, look sharp. Unsafe at any speed. The, the Designed in Dangers of the American Automobile is a non-fiction book by consumer advocate Ralph Nader. Its central theme is that the car manufacturers uh, resisted the introduction of safety measures. My question is, what major invention thus resulted by a Samuel W. Alderson? Again, as I said, all the teams, please be polite. Let me uh, use my discretion. If you have any queries before that, you are uh, more than welcome to ask me. But whether to give part points or not, that's completely at my discretion. This is a direct for team, uh, team of uh, I am Bodhgaya. Yes, team I am Bodhgaya. Pouncing will close in three, two, one, closed. So two, three, and four. Two, three, and four are pouncing. That will be a minus five for team two. Minus five. Which one? That's Volvo. Team uh, three gets minus five. Jaldi, Jaldi, Jaldi. Minus five for team four. So uh, once again, team three gets minus five. Team, four, uh, team two gets minus five. Team three gets minus five. Team four gets minus five. It's a direct to team. I'm both Gaya. Safety belt. No, it's Air worth 11 airbags. points. What 13 ah. points. Uh, automotive uh, crash test dummy. Say Auto that once again. Crash test dummy. The crash test dummy. So yeah. the safety yeah. is actually. This question was now worth 13 points, ladies and gentlemen, entirely correct. Crash test dummies. Well done, 13 points. 
13 points to my backend team. They get 13. Yeah, these are the crash test dummies. Let's go back to the grid, please. Which team is up next? We are left with three more questions to end the quiz. Team two is up next. Please choose team two. Personalities. Good choice. Let's go to personalities. It is a memory debugger program used by software developers to detect memory access errors in programs, especially those written in C and C++. Who created it? I'm looking for the name. It is open on the pounds, by the way. We'll have a check on the scores after this question. Who created it? Obviously, we know this person. I'll give this as a clue. Obviously, we know this person in some different context. He's famous in some different context. We'll close the pounds in three, two, one, and closed. Team FMS will now try and answer. Lack of better guess, Elon Musk. Good guess, Elon Musk, but not correct. Worth 11 points now. Problem to switch. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. I did say uh, he's known for something else, so worth 12 points. Zuckerberg. Worth 13. It's it, Stallman. Sorry? It's it, Stallman. No, it's not Stallman. Sam Altman. No, ah. to the girls, now it is 16 points, worth 16. No, worth 15, sorry. This is going to be worth 15, so we, you are passing. All right, anybody in the audience, the clue that I gave is, obviously the Bill Gates and the, well, I mean those who would have been obvious, he is known for something else. Anybody? No, it is one of my favorite questions actually. Here comes the answer on screen. This is Reed Hastings. This is Reed Hastings. Yes. All right, so now is a good time to have a look, or rather, we'll do it verbally on the scorecard. Much might have changed at this round at this point in time. So let's start with team one, who gave one cracker of an answer. Team one is on, all the teams, please do cross check. Team one is on 73 points. Give a round of applause, please. All of you keep your scores, please. 51.5, some good score to be having in a national quiz. Team three is on 25. Team four is on 1515. Team five is on 35. Team six is on 76. So once again, the girls are on 70, 73, 76. Three points marching. <laughs> let's see how that goes. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Two more questions to go. Two more questions. Which team is up next? Uh, team, team one is up next. Choose. Uh, woman power. What else, of course? Woman power. <laughs> Let's go to woman power. Paddy Nysmith was an English actress, pilot, and racing driver. In 1928, she was working with the Welsh, uh, with the Welsh Pearson Elder Company, who were making silent films based on the novels by the English writer W. W. Jacobs. How is she immortalized in the world of entertainment? To all the teams, I need a very descriptive answer. Don't give me one word answer, descriptive answer. Bouncing will close in three, two, one, and bouncing is closed. So all the teams to the left of the stage have bounced. Plus 10 or a minus five? Can you just write it? I'll make it a little more legible, can't? Decipher most of it. That'll be a minus five for team. Uh, minus five for team four. Yeah, got that? Minus five for team four. Minus five for team uh, five. <laughs> yeah. And team, I'm Kolkata. Since you've gone for it. Hmm. Some telepathy going on. Identical answers. <laughs> minus five for team. I am called. Yar, why are you clapping? That's a minus five. Don't clap for that. <laughs> minus five. So I'll reiterate. Minus five for team six. Minus five for team five. Minus five for team four. And it's over to the girls. We pass. I, I need a descriptive answer. We pass, sadly. You pass. All right. 
Now the question is worth 11 points. FMS, you crack this, you will land up in a good spot. Don't fight amongst yourselves. Okay. I know I, most likely what we're, we're going to say is what they say. Uh, the, lo the logo of Columbia uh, pictures. Yay! The logo of Columbia is incorrect. Team I am in door. <laughs> Team I am in door. That's the same guess we had. <laughs> <laughs> all of you all right so there was this little known gentleman little known gentleman called John Logie Baird what did you uh, what did he do he invented the television so the first color photograph ever put on television was that of this actress the first color telecast this is a live image of Naismith which was used by John Logie Baird all right, critical, critical point in time. We are left with one last question. Once again, the scores, please. Let's go back. Let's go back. It will be a direct for IIM Kolkata. I feel for you, uh, the team, because it will be worth more points to the other teams, though. But if you get your 10 points, well, we never know. <laughs> no, we don't need it on screen. It's OK. We can do this verbally. We can do this verbally, starting with team one. We need our calculators to be put out for all these lovely teams. Yeah, starting with team one. No, I don't want it on screen. Just, that's okay, please give me the scores. Uh, 73 to team one. Give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> team FMS is hardly clapping for them, which is good. Thank you. 50? Please do clap for yourselves. 45, 25. 25. Team three is on 25. Team four is on 10. An awesome team, but not their day today. I'm sorry. Team five is on 30. Team six is on 71. Please do clap now. 71. And I do see all uh, the fans of Team I am Kolkata. They are praying. They have their hands folded for you. So keep those prayers going, but do pray for Team Osmania as well. Let's go back to the grid. Yes. You want me to help you out uh, with an easier question by telling you which one to choose? I can help you out if you want. You don't want me to help you? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I can recommend to you. So the easier, let me have a quick look. The easier question is between business practice or luxury brands. Or it could be Fortune 500 or famous people. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, critical time. It's your quiz. Yeah, I'll leave them at peace. <laughs> very, very critical time. <laughs> Whenever you are ready, team, I am Kolkata. Uh, business practice. <laughs> No proper notes. Management students going for business practice. I genuinely, sincerely offer my best wishes to you. Hope you get it. Here comes the question on business practice. The Dash Process Certification Scheme is the process established in 03 to prevent what is known as conflict diamonds from entering the mainstream rough diamond market by the United States UNGA resolution by 55, uh, by 55 to 56, following recommendations in the Fowler report. So what is this process certification scheme named as? It's obvious we are talking about diamonds, so you don't have to actually know this. Try and laterally connect it. So the name is something this is this goes to all the teams right so the name of the process the name itself is something which is very directly related to diamonds and diamonds mining that anyways would have been obvious that if it uh, if that wasn't to be the case I wouldn't have put this question to begin with it is still open on the pounds pouncing closes in three two one and pouncing is closed now. Pouncing is closed. 10 points and you will be crowned the national champions. I am Kolkata. Say something. Say something. Very directly connected to the process of diamond and diamond industry. Yeah. 
Last three seconds. Three, two, extraction. Yeah. That's a meek guess, I must say, team. I'm Kolkata, you're a phenomenal team. Team Osmania. Do we get a negative? No, you don't. If you get it wrong, then well, we'll pass. Otherwise, okay. no negative. Carbon process certification. Carbon process certification, no. Or mining. Quick answer on the rebound, please. Will say mining. No. We'll say cleaning because diamonds are clean. Sorry, one second, can't hear you. We'll say cleaning because diamonds are clean. Cleaning. So clean process certification. Clean process certification, okay. Um, Ahmedabad. Yeah. Carbonization. Carbonization team, I am both Gaya. Polishing. No. Nobody actually even came close. I kept on referring to that. This is something which is connected to diamond mining and the process of diamond. Kimberley. What else but Kimberley? Let's go to the answer, please. Kimberley is what I was looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, we began this quiz, not today's quiz, but the process itself. The last question was about a process. So the process of NTPC Electron started about a month back. And it has been an exhilarating journey for me as a quiz master and Graces as a company. Quizzing all these lovely, lovely teams from the IITs, IIMs, NITs, Osmanias, and all of them. I think the first thing that all of them, including us, deserve is a round of applause for NTPC Electron. Great show all around. I'm so, so elated. However, as it so happens at any competition, there are going to be, well, uh, elation and heartbreaks. Some teams are going to be a little more happy than the others. Uh, please do understand, as a quiz master, my job is to play it fair. There is nothing more that I can say or do. However, here comes the final scores on the screen. Having given a nice long speech, I hope there's no tiebreaker situation, by the way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Osmania University, the champions, well done, the Osmanias. Champions of NTPC Electron Quiz, well done. All right, and uh, as I said, uh, probably one of the better teams, one of the best teams in the country at the moment as far as college quizzing is concerned. IIM Kolkata, they have a mini heartbreak, but do uh, applaud for them. Well done, they are the runners up. And uh, since I've been saying this uh, till the, uh, since the time I met this team, not only I like them for their enthusiasm and the quality of their answers, but seriously for Shashank's hairstyle. Ladies and gentlemen, the second runners-up, FMS Delhi. Give it up for them. Uh, I would want somebody from NTPC to please take a photograph of this. Done? All right. So then uh, that about uh, does it. Drum rolls will keep continuing. For the moment, a couple of very, very quick uh, token of appreciation uh, to the entire leadership team of NTPC uh, who thought it wise to uh, again start because, uh, as I was telling, uh, this particular quiz has been happening for almost two decades now. And thankfully, for the last 15 odd years or somewhere thereabouts, uh, we and me personally have been uh, connected with all quizzing activities at NTPC. So thank you very, very much. Let's clap once again for the entire NTPC leadership team for doing this, uh, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, a louder round of applause to all the 800 plus teams who have participated in this year's quiz. Those who all are watching us uh, online, so thank you for your patronage. I seriously hope that you will continue supporting an activity like this. And finally, if you like some of my questions, probably you can spare a thought for the quiz master. That's my time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Until we meet again, it's over to our MC. Okay, so we have just experienced the amazing quizzing and I know we all enjoyed it thoroughly. Thank you so much Gautam sir and three cheers for the exemplary performance by our top six teams. I request all the teams to please take seat in the audience till we announce the results.
Teşekkür ederim. Now, as we move towards the conclusion of this event, it is time to celebrate the victories and learning we have witnessed today. Our participants has shown us that knowledge is diverse, learning can be fun and curiosity can lead us on remarkable journeys. Now, may I request Sri Seetal Kumar Sir EDHR to please be on stage for prize distribution and I request Ms. Rachnabal Ma'am to please come on the dais to join him for the award function. I would also like to request Mr. Gautam Bose to please join them. So let's start our award ceremony. So to boost the spirits of our participant, we are giving consolation prizes who have reached our semi-finals. So first we have Muhammad Fahim and Rajbul Awal from Jamia Milia Islamia. They're here? No. They're not here. Not here. Okay. Second we have Ankita Shandilya and Muhammad Mahatab from FMS Delhi. Next, we have Shuyash Yashwan Patankar and Madhur Rajan TK from Wellinkar Institute, Mumbai. Then Chanya and Abhimanyu Singh Bisht from IIT Patna, please join the stage. Once again, from IIT Patna, Kirtan Jain and Dipankar Johari. Next team is from IIT BHU, Asutosh Tomar and Aman Bhaskar. Next, we have Tanmoy and Swapnanil Das from NIT Raur Kela.
the next team we have is from iift kolkata even mohanty and siddharth sankar raut next k shrihas and b ravi teja from jntu hyderabad and again to conclude with we have u nidhila reddy and t rishita rao from jntu hyderabad now comes the team who have reached the finale first we have shrihish shukla and jay garg from iim indore now we have abhijit bhalachandra and manish pradhan from iim ahmedabad there is a consolation prize of 8000 per team and certificate next we have aryaman sahal and aditya joshi from iim bodh gaya now it's time we have our top 3 finalist of the villa electron quiz 2023 so in the third position we have shashank adlakar and shashank tyagi from fms delhi rupees 20000 per team and certificate now we have our first runners of piyush kedla and arnav mandal from iit iim kolkata rupees 30000 per team and certificate now the moment we all have been waiting for the team that held command over the whirlwind of questions is 
From Osmania University, we have Sania Rafiq and Sania Mehran. They get a prize money of 50,000 rupees per team and certificate. A hearty congratulations to the victorious teams and all the finalists for your commendable performance. Every challenge you faced, every question you answered has made this competition memorable. Now, moving further, I'll request Sri Sital Kumar, sir, EDHR, to please present a small memento to Sri Gautam Bose as a small gesture of our love and appreciation. And also, we cannot forget his associate, Mr. Gaurav Verma. I'd request, sir, to present a small memento to him also. Thank you, sir, and ma'am, please take your seat. Uh, can we have this photograph? Yes, sir, please. Yes. So all the first, the top three teams, please you come back. Uh, we have a group photograph and then the other team. First, the top three. First, second, third, yeah. Thank you all. I request you all to please take your seat. As we draw this memorable day to a close, we thank everyone, our skillful participants, our enthusiastic audience and the hardworking organizing team for making this event a grand success. We will leave you with the thought that everyone interaction is an opportunity for learning and every question a door to discovery. Until the next quiz competition, this is Rosalind signing off. 
I request you all to please have lunch arranged outside. Also, there's a little information for the Osmania, for Team Osmania. Team Osmania. We have arranged a short interview sessions by Economic Times Achar. So I request you to please present, please be present there. Outside or here? So outside. Outside. Yeah. 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 Yeah.